That's how you doing, dude? Uh, you know, still looking for work, etc. Oh, gotcha. Doing, oh, I what guess. Do you... <laughs> Sorry, I was reading chat. <laughs> it's cool. Um, what are you trying to get a job in? Uh, non-programming IT, I guess. Non-programming IT. Yeah, so we'll see. But yeah. that's that's either here or there. We're here to talk about the video game. Talk about two Loganville boys. Yep. Uh, Steve, not actually from Loganville, oh, right, but right. honorary Loganville. Yeah, yeah. He's uh, he's hung out with them a lot, right? Yeah, absolutely. I right. I hang out with Steve a lot. Well, used to. He's in school now and all that. But when oh. he was in high school, like a couple times a week, I'd see him. So yeah, uh, Travis betting on silver. Ooh, do you know how? I mean, how do What's they? Up, Travis? How do, yeah. How do they? I, how do they do versus each other? Oh, okay. so this what, yeah. um. Silver has always won, except for the last time they played. Oh, Steven won. Oh, okay. Cameron uh, actually thinks Martha's a like a good matchup for him. I don't think he likes playing against Steve though. But I've talked to him about this. <laughs> I was. It's one of those things where you know they like the matchup, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because you know, I'm sure he knows. But I think uh, Silver is definitely that kind of crazy. Yeah, no, he uh, he's about to drop zone downer. He likes to do that as an edge guard. Makes a lot of sense. Mars recovery is really li linear. Has to move pretty much straight up. So. Yeah, absolutely. Um, what was a little too high to do that edge guard? He just didn't react to that. But what's really rough with uh, S Samus in this matchup is that once Mars gets you in the air, it's extremely hard to get down. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Also, it's like kind of funny because. <laughs> Whatever, I, either of us say what? Are we talking about the player? Or are we talking about... <laughs> no. What? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what? what? Well, actually, his what is a statement, <laughs> not a question. Because that has a period on the end. That's true, that's true. Even though, grammatically, I don't think that works. I believe you. Because even if you say, like, what? Yeah, yeah. Like that, That's still a question. <laughs> even if you say it menacingly. We'll, we'll call him Steven. We, we Steven. don't you know. This is a local. It's cool. a Steven versus Cameron. Steve versus Cameron, exactly. But yeah, you can see kind of... Uh, this is how the matchup should look, right? Like, Marth, is, Marth controls the ground really well. Samus has to move in the ground. And sort of a, She has to wave dash towards you for the most part. So, Marth's doing a pretty yeah. good job controlling that space. On this stage, especially, it's a little harder to uh, like set up a missile game or anything. You can do it. it the do the uh, e sam miss was actually a lot a lot harder than just doing it on like Yoshi's or Stadium. Right, right. We're starting to see, you know, uh, Steven take a solid lead. Once again, mostly off of his proper guard control. You know, all the things that you said about the matchup have come true as well. You know, we saw earlier, you know, Silver was in the air, couldn't quite get down. It's tough. Even with all these tricks, sometimes it's really yeah. Cool. That was that was a really good uh, mix up actually. Yeah, he air dodged into the bomb, which like pops you up a little bit, and then he wave landed on top platform. There's a double jump. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Look, Marth's too good. You gotta give him some of those. <laughs> like every once in a while, he has to miss. Yeah, you're right. You're do right. you do you know about that stuff where like Marth's hitboxes don't work sometimes on Dreamland? Oh, with the the, the after the wind blows? Yeah, because I, I I have no idea how it works. Yeah, it's a weird programming thing. It's like after the wind stops blowing, uh, he'll like they call it tripping back in the day. Okay. Uh, actually, they call it tripping after brawl came out. Okay, because uh, tripping and brawl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it just falters. <laughs> Come on. That's uh, s somewhere out there on the west coast. Hug is just like his leg starts to twitch. Like, what's, what's going on? <laughs> a peak Samus whiffed a shot. Oh. Oh yeah, he didn't react in time. He didn't want to roll up because then uh, you know he was over a hundred, so it was the slow roll up. Yeah. <laughs> The off-brand version, the slow roll-up, not the free roll-up. Okay, um, yeah, Steven is, uh, like, reading a lot when he is either, like, wave landing or wave, uh, wave dashing, like, towards center stage. He's just putting hitboxes out. So, as what I would do is Cameron. Ooh. Okay, that's a good edge card. Oh, he still has his jump, though, so it's one Ooh. more. Yep. But you got to mix up your timings a little more in the corner. If you just keep going in, 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 he's just gonna blow a hitbox every time. Yeah, that's um. <laughs> so one time, uh, I don't know if you ever played my Samus or seen my Samus. Samus is a goon. It's Weedlord. I call it Weedlord Samus. I just spam movement, and I'm not paying attention. Yeah. 
Uh, and Cameron said that he was a little inspired by my Samus because he likes doing the flashy technical fast stuff. Yeah. And I was like, I don't think that's good. I think that's not a compliment, actually. <laughs> I think that's, that's yeah, bad. Yeah, he, he, he knows it's not good. Like, <laughs> he doesn't do it as much as he used to. Okay, okay. And definitely not. I mean, he's definitely more careful on right there, shooting the uncharged neutral beast as a pressure tool. Uh, but sometimes, you know, everyone, they, sometimes people just yeah, want to He needs a wall in. jump here. Or else he'll get, like, F smash. It's really hard to sweet spot from right there. It's tough. But yeah, that was that was a really good play by uh, by by what by Steven. He yep. uh, like I said, everything he was doing, uh, he was once again he was reading a lot of the rest of from from Silver. This is three out of five, so probably Dreamland oh. or Stadium. It's one of those. It's gonna be Dreamland. This stage also a little harder to set up your missile pressure, but you're not so oppressed by Mars giant disjointed. <laughs> Really big hitboxes. His, the easy stick. Yeah, he's trying to make it back down um, without taking damage. Being kind of tricky with bomb. Ooh, bomb moving, but it sometimes you just can't avoid. You can't avoid more. Yeah, he, he is doing a little uh, not great recoveries right now. Um, I do think he has his tether. He might, okay, he might not have. Yeah. We'll, we'll trust him. He's the Samus player. Yeah, he, so. he's the Samus player, not me. <laughs> <laughs> the other Cameron in the chat. Let's go Steven What Carlton, Cameron Silver Bailey. Yep. <laughs> What's Dave would be Carlton? But yeah, Silver's gonna have to do something different in neutral. You know, what's <laughs> playing to win here? Yeah, he's uh, uh he, <laughs> he he thought about the electric slide, but decided against it. You know what that is. Is it the Super Duper Wave Dash? Super Wave Dash Trunch Shot. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, sick. Steve's playing uh, real lame. Yeah, he's playing to win. It's If you're going to pool, you know, I'm going to be up here. Is, uh, I don't have to go towards you. Yeah, this is actually really hard for uh, Samus to deal with. Especially with like a character like Fox or something. Less so as Marth, because he doesn't have any good hitboxes coming down. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Telling you, all we need to do is ban top platforms. <laughs> I talked about this last set. <laughs> if we just play on Frozen Stadium, and we have variations of Stadium where the the blast zones like bigger and smaller, oh. it's perfect. Oh, okay. But, but Sheik loves top platform. I don't. Oh. I almost <laughs> never use top platform. That's true, actually. You love center stage. Yeah, your center stage god. But yeah, it's, so the, the interesting thing. Um, <laughs> uh, Thanks, Travis. The, the, like like uh, Travis is saying in chat, the onus is on Silver to make the plays that will you know let him come back in the game. You know, but he's not quite doing that, right? We're seeing you know even though what you know top platform can for a little bit, he still is the one primarily approaching. Yeah, that is true, but I, it, it's also kind of in the nature of the matchup. I mean, Samus has a lot harder time approaching Marth. Of course. And, uh, you know, to his credit, Silver does also have, like, five minutes to make the comeback, right? Yeah, absolutely. He's he at the rush he, he has time to figure this out. Oh, that wave land. Oh, okay, okay, that was really good. The bomb actually based him to do his double jump, and then he just grabs ledge. Yeah. The plays are being made. Absolutely. Now this is more even. He just needs to find a way to get down. Yeah. What's what's doing to counter that is just like waiting, and so it's all gonna do. He can just go in immediately. Yeah. And then mix up his timings a little bit. Unlike uh, Jigglypuff and Flying Ganondorf. You know, Samus can't really fly. She can bomb to, to you know, stay there for a little bit longer, but it's still a finite amount of time, right? <sighs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, this is... Yeah, obviously Silver is like my best friend. Aww. So I want to see him win. Oh, that was sick. So, you know, full, full bias, even though Steve's also one of my best friends. So which one's the better friend? Whoever wins this set? Oh, I mean... <laughs> I mean, I've known Cameron since high school. Oh, dang. Okay. 23 now. So whoever wins the set, right? It's, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's whoever wins French the set. Yeah. Actually, I have to play the winner of this. <laughs> so. so whoever loses the set. Whoever loses yeah. the set. Okay. <laughs> There's no friends in bracket. Oh, okay. Well. Yeah, he's, uh... Um, 
Cameron's probably gonna go to a uh, stadium to avoid any top platform shit. Yeah, Shenanigans. He, he chose Dreamland, but it worked against him. Yeah. Game plan, game plan wise. So. It's there. This is one of those. Yeah, uh, I, I would tell him, because I. I, well, I don't think Cameron's gonna watch this because I don't think he wants to. But what I'll tell him on the car ride home is that uh, like set up your missile game a little more, try and make him approach you a little bit. Yeah. If he has a lead, I know if he top like camps a platform, it's really hard, and you have to find a way to deal with that. Right. Ooh, that was great. He he, especially on like top platform camping, he could try to uh, like shark with like up airs and up bees actually, and then try and edge cancel that. That makes sense. Safe pressure. Already, we can see no top platform. Maybe, maybe you're right, dude. <laughs> you know. Ooh. Wow, that's a really solid start, uh, start from Silver. Yeah, really awesome, by Cameron. <laughs> okay, he the charge shot, what a hit! But he he was still invincible for like two frames. <gasps> Yeah, he, he forward tilted. I don't know if he had enough time to forward smash right there. It would have been sick. Yeah, and forward smash, it would have made him not get on the ledge immediately. Right. Okay. I, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Yeah, Silver's not playing too confidently. He has missed a lot of sweet spots, and, and so to circumvent that, he's trying to recover high. Right. So maybe it's just him not playing too hot and being a little uncomfortable. There's also the, the there's the the homie thing, right? They're, they're friends playing each other, so sometimes it feels like, like oh, it's another Steve day. Steve is not playing like a friend. I'll tell you that right <laughs> now. <laughs> no offense to my boy. I mean, ultimately it's tournament. You do what you have to do to win. Right. It's just, uh, it's annoying to deal with, obviously. Oh my God. That was a really high uh, tipper down here. That's kind of nuts, actually. Okay, I, I like that. Uh, I, I like those missiles right there. He, he's, it's, at least it starts to get him to move a little bit more. It's uh, it, it does funnel the, the opponent into a certain area of movement. Yeah, absolutely. You either make him uh, like jump, duck, jump, duck, or you make him uh, spit out hitboxes. Really, really important. It's too bad uh, no one named that after themselves, you know? Like, there's a bunch of techniques that are randomly named after random people, but no one no one named the, the, the missile spam thing on, on Pokemon Stadium. No. Uh, on Battlefield, it's the East Ham missiles, right. but not on Stadium uh, Yoshis. Even though East Ham didn't invent them, they're called East Ham missiles. He's just the best player that doesn't. He claimed it. Oh! <laughs> Well, Samus is a space bounty hunter, so yeah, and she's part bird. She is from like an alien planet. Yeah, she's not that I'm by sure if anyone is kind of based on Earth, <laughs> except for like Mario. Well, is I, I haven't played right? Odyssey. Is he like? I don't know if it says anything about that. There's some Mario Galaxy. True, but it's away from home, so oh yeah, yeah. You know. I don't know. Uh, Mushroom Kingdom, wherever Mushroom the Kingdom, hell yeah. that is. There are no humans in Smash. I mean, what about Marth? And what about Peach? I mean, I definitely say. Well, how does Marth do his upbeat though? Uh, magic. Matt C is a human then. He's a he's a human that has magic. <laughs> Peach Mushroom. Okay, that's that's true. That's true. He was gonna have magic, right? That's that's fine. You got a you know, magic human. Wait. Well, how does Peach have a magical uh, dress that doesn't get hit when you... <laughs> well, Mushroom Kingdom, right? Yeah, Mushroom Kingdom. Yeah, yeah. Marth, Marth maybe from Earth? Okay. Oh, oh really catch. sick. He jumped right into it. He's good. The biggest question, though. <laughs> does someone have to be from Earth to be called a human? Are, are um, we... no. <laughs> There's some... Uh, some I mean, they're... You know, Earth has animals and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, if you said Fox was from Earth, he's obviously not a human. Is he from you Earth? No. Yeah, what now? That's true. Uh, it, just an example. Okay, okay, that's fair. Captain Falcon, definitely human, right? Yeah. 
Uh, don't know where F-Zero takes place. Maybe far future Earth? I think so. Probably. Maybe? Some of it. So, who knows? Because there's like aliens in F-Zero. Yeah. But, yeah, but so maybe they have uh, alien contact that far in the future. Uh, hmm. I believe. Someone, someone, there's some F Zero lore specialist <laughs> just pissed off. Last thing I think, never yeah. coming to stream again. You know, educate us in the chat if you'd like. <laughs> oh, uh, he's going for his tender. I'm, so. uh, I'm really surprised uh, what went here. What hates this stage? Oh, really? Yes. He is not like Fountain. Uh, kind of, it, it's interesting. This stage, once again, very small. It's it's a very small fighting space, right? It's yeah, I I think the small spaces might work more into Silver's favor, just because uh, he gets to do his game a little bit more. So like, bait and like try and approach a little bit. Yeah. Um, Steven's throwing out a lot of hitboxes right now, um, which is kind of what he does when you're at high percent. Once again, he was a little too high to do that down or edge guard, but he still did it. Yeah. Maybe just like a short hop out in air would be really good in that situation. Oh, possibly, yeah. Because at worst, you'd probably trade with a fair and like put you right back on stage. I definitely, uh, at least given their play styles, uh, and uh, honestly part of the matchup too, Samus uh, in this situation probably likes to scrap a little bit more. Because uh, like Marth can't quite get, he can't guarantee that he gets this smooth, clean tipper space. Right, right, absolutely. Like, any... <laughs> Yeah, that, that's where that comes in handy. A little overkill at, you know, 160%. And we could have just edge charged probably. Uh -oh. But, okay, yeah. St Steven's getting a little too S smash heavy. Because he could have just grabbed, or because he wasn't exactly spaced for an S smash either. Yeah. But he wanted to S smash so bad that he had to think about it for a second. He's also in this weird space where... Uh, the. Until the last game, uh, everything he was doing was working, right? All his time was working out. He kicked every F smash he went for, he pretty much hit or most of them. So now he's like kind of hesitating, kind of second guessing because his timing delays and things are being read by Silver a little bit harder mm -hmm. and everything he's been doing is less effective. So it's on him to change his play enough. Uh, I, I want to mango blend, chat. <laughs> Fuck. I, I can't, I'm a professional. I just, like, actually, I'm retired, so. <laughs> I could. Could uh, you 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 have a you have a favorite emote of mine. It's the, you know. What oh, I'm the, about. <laughs> the, the Sammy Nips. The Sammy. <laughs> I wish I could have named it that. They rejected uh, any variation of Nips. Oh, okay. Because that's what it would have been for sure. Isn't it just like Defox? Yeah, it's just yeah. Defox now. I'm so sad. Oh no. But okay. Yeah, he he. he He's just trying to feel himself a little bit, I think. Okay, grab edge now. Okay, he he, he messed up, but he had the right idea. Did, did he go for uh for T drop actually? It looked like he went for T drop. Um, no, I think when the bomb exploded, I messed him up. No, I think he actually tried to uh, like wave dash towards ledge, and then it has that little like you know that little lip to it yeah. on fountain, and it kind of messed him up a little bit. That's <laughs> oh my god. So so one thing about silver as well is um. Because he's a really flashy player, right? Like he's a fast, flashy player. Yeah. So there's people like that. Uh, when their stuff isn't working, you know, they get really frustrated. But in order to come back into it and get into a, a better winning mentality, it's okay for them to go for flashy stuff, kind of fill themselves out. Yeah. Which is so we might be seeing from Silver. Oh, uh, he, he has a tether. He's okay. I don't think he landed, actually. Uh, hard to tell. Yeah, I don't think he did. Yeah, I think he tried to use his double jump there. He doesn't have a tether either. Oh no! But Steve messed up. Uh oh. And this is where the fortitude <laughs> of what is tested. Yeah, absolutely. After a. Um, uh, have they have they gone to FD? I don't think so. I assume he's gonna go there. I wouldn't like a small stage for him. I think it's just a bad pick. Realistically, the only difference between uh, Yoshi's and Fountain is the blast zones and the little lip on Yoshi's Randall, and then the, like, the platforms. The platforms, whenever yeah. they move. But it's still a very small fighting space. Yeah, absolutely. But like you said, maybe uh, the consistency will help what out. He definitely, like you said, he doesn't like F FOD. <laughs> yeah, he he doesn't. I don't know why he counterpicked there. Especially while that was his first counterpick too.
I'm not sure if I super like this one either. He's dead. Uh, he didn't get his double jump and Randall's not coming. That was... That was sick, actually. That smash was nuts. Yeah, he's doing that. One of Steve's biggest problems is that higher percents, he really fishes for like a like a forward smash. Um, he has a tether, I believe. I guess not. Nah, he, he didn't land. Okay, this is... Let's see. Uh, Travis did bet $1 on silver. No, I don't think anyone took it, but... Yeah. The confidence is there. The, the faith in his boy. That, that's just as good as a dollar, honestly. Yeah. So up tilt's really good right there, because uh, it negates crouch cancel. And uh, especially if Martha's like wave dashing forward and trying to down tilt. Uh, as long as you get it out before the down tilt, it, it beats whatever he's doing really cleanly. Ooh. He messed up such guard. He doesn't have a tether either. Yeah, oh, this is really hard. That's rough. Get back. It's where he okay, he had his jump though, so that's really good. Oh no! Yeah, he messed up a little bit. I think he thought he had his double jump and he didn't. It's, uh, Samus' recovery, pretty good. Not that good. <laughs> yeah, not infinite. I like to see Silver try and it's really hard on Yoshi's with like the limited space, but try and use his missiles a little bit more. Oh He's trying to go in a little too much. That was a really awful double jump by Boy. Oh, that's a okay. Silver mess up though. Oh. Right, this is some game five nonsense. Wait, you're right. He's definitely trying to attack a bit too much. Yeah. Although you know we did mention the previous game that scraps kind of. Oh. Yeah, he was too close to the stage to try his tether, unfortunately. They were starting to see some missiles. This is going to be... Alright, so it, it's not... It, well, the, numerically, that was kind of a big lead. Uh, you know, three stocks to one. It's mm -hmm. not actually that bad, because it was uh, one stock high okay. percent. Yup, I like that. Yeah, you have to go for up air there. Another down air isn't going to work. Ooh. Okay, that was really nice. Yeah, it's really hard to just raw down our Marth because things like up air, up tilt. Yeah. Usually you have to get in a block with a missile or something first. But this is pretty good. Like I said, you know, if he gets one, if he gets one good stock after taking out the uh, the high percent stock. Yeah, absolutely. If he gets this kill right now without any percent, this this is all awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really, uh, really scary there. If would have just like down aired have been over. Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, down air isn't gonna lead to anything at this percent. Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he used his double jump. No! Yeah, messed up. <sighs> oh. Rough. What an unfortunate set for. or unfortunate ending for Silver.